What's up guys, it's Swift from OneHive 2.0 family, bringing you another recap video for the OneHive Invicta and Elite of Valor spin for the first week of Season 3 of the CWL. Those of you that don't know Elite of Valor, they're uh, new to CWL Rising, and let me tell you, they have potential. They are fantastic, they're a great group of guys and girls. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, we did not come out on top. Uh, we had a few hiccups uh, at the beginning of the war uh, and leading to the end. Uh, and, you know, Alita Valor, they just showed out. They they had their stuff together. Uh, and so I'm very proud of our guys, but I'm also happy for them as well. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. Pulling up the war details here. Uh, you notice that uh, both sides were fairly equal uh, as far as attack total, uh, and they should be, um, but overall they had better attacks, more three stars than two stars, which is always a good thing, uh, which ultimately aided them in their average destruction, which was at 95.1%. Um, they performed very well. Uh, I actually learned quite a bit from watching them, um, and I'm very proud of our guys too. There's We've got some hard hitters. Uh, and I'm about to show you an attack uh, by our one of our co-leaders, uh, Nate. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal attacker. Um, and I thought the, his 67% was uh, worthy of showing. It was, it was a great attack. Uh, I, myself, couldn't picture uh, doing this uh, particular uh, strategy on this base. Uh, but he cracked it, man. He, he did so good. Uh, softens the core up with a quake. Uh, using a queen walk and a baby to funnel he's gonna walk his queen up from 9 to 12 uh, but it will as you see here shortly it'll it'll stop short uh, at that mortar and camp uh, and begin to peck on that wall uh, in the compart wizard compartment uh, wizard tower compartment uh, which actually turns out better for him uh, so it, you know sometimes you get you have a little luck in these uh, attacks um, but you also have to know how to adjust when things go wrong and I think uh, Nate does an incredible job uh, with that uh, using a rage to keep his queen up while she packs on the wall to uh, get into the core even further uh, in just a second uh, you'll see a tighter funnel being made with uh, golem bowlers uh, king to assist Just clearing a few more storages here, and Pex on the wall. Queen's fine. She, all those healers are still up. I'm gonna um, rage her up just a little bit to, to assist her through that wall, <clears throat> and then just walk down. This is the cool part about the attack that I thought was so neat. Um, getting so much value from this queen. Look at that, uh, almost 25% with the queen walk alone before he even starts the second phase of the attack. Uh, I thought this was uh, very smart, a very smart attack. Uh, wall breakers thrown down to break in, um, and as you'll see in just a second, uh, that will guide the uh, Valks in to the core after the funnel is set. Um, using the king and like I said the bowlers uh, with rage uh, walks down clears this whole bottom half and there you have it the Valks have free reign right into the core there the queen's still up healer's still up uh, what a great attack and even scoring in the eagle trying to walk a queen from 9 to 12 and he scores the eagle with the queen what a <laughs> what a great turn on this attack. I, I was very pleased uh, to watch that. Uh, using a baby at top uh, for extra percentage. Uh, there's really nothing stopping him other than the Teslas and bombs up there. And Valks go into the core and there you have it. The attack is done. I mean, there's nothing this base can do. He crushed it. Uh, there's a baby at the bottom with the bowlers. Uh, Queen's still up, uh, adding more percentage. And man. What a solid attack. What a solid performance. I was uh, very pleased with the way this, this one turned out. Uh, now if we could just have everybody on board for that, that would be fantastic. But we still have more great attacks uh, coming up here. Uh, I'm going to show one of Cuss's 
Uh, Cuss has been really stepping it up here lately. He's one of our Town Hall 11s. Um, and I just wanted to show you this. It is very, uh, what I consider, overpowered strategy, especially if you know what's in the CC. Uh, I never would chance CC by no, no means, because just because you're a Town Hall 11 doesn't mean you can't fail on these bases. These are very well thought out bases. Uh, so you had to really, really be careful here. But uh, he just crushes this base, and it was it was fun to watch. And as a matter of fact, my Town Hall 11 was in this war, uh, and I ended up using the same strategy on another base. And uh, what do you know, same results here. Drops the king and queen down just to make a, uh, clear some of that trash and uh, get the, all that out of the way. Maybe get score some Teslas here. Uh, there scores a king. Um, the, all, the real goal in this is to reduce the amount of ADs, which he did with a peripheral AD on this side, um, and he scored that with a queen. Queen isn't really necessary to keep up throughout the whole attack. It's it's a plus, but it's not necessary. Here you'll see the main phase of the attack. He'll drop his uh, hounds with Asian wall loons <laughs> and Asian wall loons. And then he'll have his warden set on air uh, and just guide with uh, haste spells throughout the base. Um, in just a second, you'll see how powerful this is. Using a rage with uh, skeletons, uh, he demolishes that queen like instantly. I mean, it was in just a second, you'll see her go down, or maybe you won't. It's, it happens so quickly. Um, Oh, they kind of got caught in the wall there. Yeah, uh, well, but regardless, uh, you see the loons just taking out the, the whole base there. It's it's pretty cool to watch. Um, and, he's of course, he's got plenty of cleanup loons uh, to go. He's still got eight uh, minions and two archers uh, to help with a backside cleanup as those loons are making their way up top to take out that last archer tower and wizard tower. Um, and... That'll pretty much be all she wrote on that base, uh, but it was a solid base though. No, no, no joke. That is, as a difficult base uh, overpowered by a, a, a town hall eleven attack, uh, and this is this is a typical theme that you'll see um, in these types of wars. Uh, a lot of town hall eleven dips, and sometimes, unfortunately, you'll see a, uh, a few uh, town hall eleven dip fails. On occasion, <clears throat> taking out that last uh, storage, and uh, that's it for that attack. Next up, we're going to take a look at uh, uh, yeah, that was my attack there on seven They're using the same attack strategy. Um, I'm playing a, a town hall 11 called Barbarian King. We had a few good, uh, solid Town Hall 9 attacks. So we stepped it up really good this war. I mean, I was I was pleased with our Town Hall 9 play, um, which kind of gives me hope going forward um, because, you know, we've had to make quite a bit of adjustment here. Uh, I thought this attack was fantastic. Hogs are king right now at Town Hall 9. They really, really are. Uh, assuming you get the basics down, like funnel-wise and and whatnot, um, they really, really crush bases. Um, Lazarus is a fantastic uh, attacker anyways, so I didn't expect anything less from this guy. Um, all you see is just phenomenal play by him every war. Um, but he uses a golem and wizards for a funnel and, a, and also a queen, uh, ultimately pulling this CC out, which he will uh, kill off with the queen. Places a jump there for the king and queen to jump in uh, to take out that expo on the ground. Popping the queen ability uh, just kind of gives some extra power power on the, those witches and uh, baby dragon. As he hops into the compartment here, he places a poison, slightly misses it on the queen, but it doesn't matter. He uh, rages his uh, king, and his queen pushes in with uh, just shortly behind, uh, places a few hogs down in that bottom compartment with the cannon and uh, AD, 
uh, and that's where he begins his hog phase uh, of this attack, placing hills as needed. <clears throat> Queen's still up, King's still up, um, low health, but it doesn't matter. They're, they're making their way around the base uh, as these hogs are taking out defenses that can potentially uh, squander the attack uh, or kill the king and queen. Using the last heal here, he uses it very smart. Uh, instead of waiting on it, he, he used it uh, to kind of get them right back up with those skeletons on them. They can do a lot of damage. Um, and, you know, you really have to either take them out quickly with a poison or, or heal through them. Uh, but as you can see, he just crushes this base with the hogs. Uh, really good timing with the placement. And the king and queen are still up. Just we're going to town on the base walls and... <laughs> Uh, using that whiz at the bottom of the town hall, scoring uh, the, the town hall uh, destruction there. Uh, and he's got plenty of hogs for cleanup. Um, he just did a fantastic job. I was, I was happy to see this, this attack uh, go so well for him. With one hut remaining, that's, uh, that's it for this base here. attack uh, I'm going to be showing you Biscuit 2.0's attack uh, he's playing a Town Hall 9 uh, in this war uh, he's also he also plays a Town Hall 10 uh, I'm not sure if he plays Town Hall 11 anymore but he also uses a hog attack uh, and yeah, as you see is a repeated theme hogs are just doing very well uh, in, on these Town Hall 9s, uh, whereas you used to see a lot, whole lot of Witch Slides, which you still do, uh, but this base just uh, got crushed by Hogs, and he did a fantastic job. There you go with the Golems and the Wizards, uh, and, and just for the funnel to get the, that, those King and Queen in a good place to score that, uh, that Queen, enemy Queen in the middle of the base. And I also try to, uh, you, you want to try to score some expos um, in these types of attacks. They, kinda, they do a lot of damage to these hogs, uh, coupled with like wizard towers and stuff like that. So you really want to knock those out uh, with as quickly as possible. Um, he places one hog down to assist with that wizard tower and also do a little bit of damage on that cannon, uh, firing down on that king. Uh, as he filters in, trickles these uh, hogs in from uh, about 3 o'clock, uh, he meets the Tesla farm right around the town hall and places the hill, which is a very smart thing. Those Teslas can crush your hogs so quickly. Um, but he, he did a good job with the placement there. He's getting a whole lot of value with those hogs and under hill. Um, and wow, that base is already done. Uh, he's got a lot of hogs left. Um, and you know he he didn't have to swag any uh, spells, but he he did a very uh, good attack here. It's very thought out and methodical. Um, but he's a solid attacker. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a solid attacker, anyways. So um, look at this. What <laughs> troll Tesla? Of course, you'll see that sometimes. Uh, and the guy <laughs> places double giant bombs there. Uh, which had he not had so many hogs and his queen and king up and a whole bunch of wizards that probably would have worked out uh, well for this guy on defense but um, not today biscuit crushes them it's a solid attack there biscuit my man shout out to you, you you're doing an incredible job with the rosters this season um, so it's still early but we're we're gonna get in the groove, man. Uh, you got it going on. And last but not least, uh, we have a Laloon. Actually, uh, Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 9 Laloon. Uh, against these bases are very difficult to perform. Um, very tricky bases, uh, the way that they're designed. Uh, some things aren't very accessible, such as like Queens and Expos. Uh, which are particularly important to take out in these types of attacks. Uh, but Dita does a fantastic job here against Honey Badger. <clears throat> against a very solid layout. Uh, not easy at all. Um, so I was very pleased with how this turned out. Uh, Dita places wizards up atop to create a funnel. 
Uh, we'll place one at the bottom as well at three uh, to increase the funnel um, and how wide it is. That's very important um, to be able to get CC bowlers in. I did uh, go ahead and goes ahead and draws the uh, CC out with the golem uh, and places a jump here to access the core. Um, funneling the bowlers, the queen, uh, and the king inwards. Um, but surprisingly, here the queen decides to walk, but uh, everything else goes in, which is great because he scores the queen, um, uh, Tesla, some inner storages, um, makes a really solid attempt to uh, break that king in uh, inside that uh, middle compartment with the expo and the sweeper. Uh, but just falls a little short there, but it ultimately doesn't matter in the end. Uh, starts the Ludlum component a little early, um, and that's essential as far as timing goes. Uh, places the haste spells there to catapult those loons into um, the base where they will take out the Teslas uh, and uh, the two wizard towers at the bottom there. Uh, Expos uh, locked on to the uh, Hound, it appears, both Expos actually uh, switches targets to the Loon, takes out the Loons on the bottom, but it doesn't matter. We got uh, some Loons filtering in at the top there uh, with the Sweepers going at it strong. Uh, Queen's still up, taking out the Town Hall now. Uh, he started the cleanup troop uh, with the cleanup wizards early. Uh, the Bowler just broke out uh, at the top there, is going to assist the wizard at the bottom. Uh, loons finally make it to the sweeper and the expo uh, still have a lot of hounds up uh, so perhaps a little bit too good of placement uh, with those hounds as far as timing goes uh, but it doesn't matter the uh, loons are gonna overwhelm the base uh, and the cleanup troops had been started well in advance uh, which was a very very smart uh, move by Dita um, so this turns out very well and as you can see they're kind of sandwiching in at the bottom um, so a great attack dude a great attack good, good job um, very proud of you you did a very good job this war um, but we still have a lot of things to work on uh, moving forward into week two of CWL but I'm not disappointed uh, Elite of Valor was a, a formidable opponent, uh, very good um, at attacking and uh, solid bases. So uh, I didn't expect anything less from them going into it. Uh, I did expect a little bit more from us, but it, like I said, we have a lot to work on and we're gonna get there uh, in time. And we're, we're working really hard day in and day out with uh, FCs and uh, base building to get there. So uh, great job guys, uh, we'll get them next time. Um, that being said, we'll see you next time. Thank you.